So the new Tetris movie has just been released, and the man whose true life story the movie's based on, the founder of the Tetris company, Hank Rogers, joins us live in studio today. Aloha, thing. Thank Aloha, you for having Hank. me. Hi. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome home. Yes, uh, Hawaii is my home. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. Again, you actually went to UH. So I lived in Hawaii uh, for four years in the 70s, mm -hmm. and then uh, more recently I lived here for 18 years. Okay, wonderful. And, so. and a lot of your family is still here too. Uh, pretty much all of my family is still here. Wonderful. So local boy at heart now, and you have this awesome movie based on you. So the movie based on what you went through to secure the rights of Tetris. It's just been made. It was released last week, Friday. Last Friday. Um, so how has it been, you know, having your story told? How does that feel? It's, it's a little bit like an out-of-body experience. Um, you know, Taryn is a great actor, doesn't look anything like me. <laughs> you know, I, I, I wish they could have, like, made me look a little more local. <laughs> uh, but, uh, hey, you know, it's Hollywood doing what mm -hmm. Hollywood does. So. Okay. And I was wondering that, because I think everyone, you know, thinks, like, oh, if someone made a movie about me, who would I want me to, who would I want portraying me? So it's interesting. I mean, but he's the hot new actor right now. He is. He yeah. is. He's the hot new actor. So you didn't get to choose who was picked, but what input did you have? You know, when, when this first came about, did they come up to you and ask the, you to describe sure. every detail of the story? Sure. Uh, we got the script early on. And so Alexei Pajitnov, the, the author of Tetris, and I were both living in Seattle area at the time. Uh, spent many hours going over the script and saying, no, this could never have happened, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. So we, we fixed the parts that they would let us fix. You know, the Hollywood part of the movie is like Hollywood. No, you don't touch that. But the Soviet Union and the feeling of the Soviet Union, they got that right. Really? Yeah. Okay, because I was going to ask, and I don't want to give away any spoilers, but I was curious how much creative liberty was taken, because if you guys have seen the movie, because again, it's been out for about a week now, there's a lot of action in that. There's a lot of action. And so what they did is they took um, a year and a half of my life and squeezed it into two hours. Mm -hmm. And so to, to get something which takes a week to get that message across, you know, that there's a lot of action that, that has to, to get them, to get the feeling across. Right, right. And uh, so I, you know, I, they took lots of creative liberty, of course. Okay. Uh, but that makes it into a movie, you know? So they, they worked on making it into a great movie. I cried a couple of times during the movie, you know? There's a, some couple of touching scenes. There are. Uh, that may or may not have happened in real life. <laughs> so you see, and that's the thing, when I was watching it too, I was like, oh, I want to ask every single scene. I was like, wait, did this really happen? Did this yeah. really happen? So that's really neat. And I'm sure it's, it's beautiful to see your, your story being told now. So what has been the response from family and friends that have seen it? Oh my gosh, uh, I, haven't, I haven't met anybody who didn't like the movie. Mm -hmm. And you know, we got a rave review in the New York Times. So I mean, this is a great movie. Um, and I wasn't expecting that, I was, you know, uh, you know, I was thinking it was going to be like a B movie or something like that. I had no idea. You know, from reading the script, I still didn't get it because mm -hmm. it's hard to understand what a movie is going to be like at, just by reading the right, script. Right. And uh, so it turned out to be like, wow, this is a real movie. It, yeah, it really was. <laughs> and that includes real red carpets, the press junkets. And we're looking at yeah. some photos from some of those, um, the red carpet events. How has that been? Uh, it's been a world when I was, so we, we uh, had the premiere at uh, South by Southwest in Austin mm -hmm. and uh, gosh, I had 44 interviews in two days. Wow. It was like insane, you know, the amount of press. And uh, the interesting part is that this movie appeals to across genders, across cultures. I mean, all kinds of different uh, magazines, news, news. Uh, it just doesn't have like one thing. It wasn't a gamer movie, for example. Right. It's a, it's a, mo a family movie. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, entrepreneur movie. It's a thriller action movie. It's a, it's got something in it for everybody. Exactly, and I think everyone will love it because of that. Now, okay, and speaking of, I mean, all of these different facets, that goes for you and your life as well. Because Tetris isn't the <laughs> only thing you've done. You've done an incredible plethora of things, but one of the most recent ones, or I guess it's been for a while now, but something that's near and dear to KHON, we have a great partnership with the Blue Planet Foundation, which folks may not know, you're behind. So uh, the Blue Planet Foundation, what was, Hawaii is now famous in the world for having, uh, be, to being the first state in the, in the country to have a mandate of 100% renewable energy. And uh, 22 other states and territories have the similar goals. And uh, that's working just fine across the country. 
Um, but now I, I realize that uh, Hawaii and this country is not enough. We, in order to solve climate, climate change, we have to do the whole rest of the planet. So I've, I formed a new NGO in New York called the Blue Planet Alliance, and we get together with all the other NGOs, and, and we're going to fix climate across the planet. And last year, we, uh, we hit Palau, Tonga, Tuvalu, and so we're doing island countries first, but we're going to do all the countries in the world. We want 100% renewable energy by 2045 in the entire world. Love that. And, and it's a goal that, you know, even with the goal that we placed here in Hawaii that you helped start, you know, a lot of people thought, you know, this isn't possible. And, and look at the strides that we've made. So a oh goal like God. that, incredible, but also potentially attainable <laughs> if, if everyone does come and work together. I yeah. love that. And, and it's so cool to see someone like yourself, you know, working towards the greater good for the planet. Yeah. So thanks for all that you're doing. And for those who want to keep up with you, um, with the Blue Planet Alliance, Blue Planet Foundation, and everything else you're doing, because I know there's stuff involving space as well, how do we keep in touch? HankRogers.com. Perfect. Oh, hard. That, that's very easy. I love that. All right, perfect. <laughs> and we'll have that website on our website at kh12.com so you can keep connected. And then also, of course, the Tetris movie. It is airing on Apple Plus, so you can stream it, Apple TV. Make sure you check it out. Thanks so much, Hank, for joining us. Thank you.